damn it. God damn it. Lee, Lee has a dedicated wet ass pussy, yep. Ah! God damn it, what's up, Scott? God damn it! Fuck! Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. Oh my god. What's up, Scott? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I've died. I've been dying for the last, what, half an hour or so on the stream uh, there, Scott. It's been a repeated process. <sighs> it's like the halfway boss, and he is annihilating me over and over and over and over again. <laughs> uh. I know, Scott's the next speedrunner. I heard the stories. Uh, man. I've just been dying like a very bad gamer. So, I mean, here we are. I mean, Scott's been, Scott's been dying for a long time. I don't know, Scott, I don't know how old you actually are. I'm comparing, I'm assuming you're right around Zeke's age. So that means I think you and I are pretty close in age. So Scott's been probably didn't been dying a long time, just like me. You're, you're just dead on the inside, Scott. <laughs> you're dead on the inside. <laughs> that's, that's different. That's different. According to Heltar, that's called having children. <laughs> I am ageless like the wind. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I act like a six-year-old and I'm in an adult's body, so. That just reminded me of that goddamn book, The Name of the Wind. I hate that fucking book. Fuck you! Gotta hate you. Gotta hate you. Yeah, I hate that book, LZT. I hate that book. I hate it so bad. I know a lot of people love it. I just not for me. I'm sorry, LZT. I don't, I don't hate you for liking the book. I just, the book bored the living shit out of me. I'm sorry, LZT. You don't like Brandon Sanderson, so I mean. I still love you, LZT. I do hate it. I'm not a... Okay, are we back to use herbs again? I the book bored the living shit out of me. Uh, uh he finished the Wheel of Time, but he's done Mistborn and he did uh the Stormlight Chronicles. The Stormlight Chronicles are amazing. He, I mean, I I don't know what to say, LZT. Someday somebody's going to do that with George R.R. Martin because that man is never finishing those books. But, but. I did Oh, my God. You. Okay. Dog man? What is dog? I don't even know what dog man is. Die! Go out of the airplane! Oh, die! I hate you. I hate you so bad. 
Could you not? Could you let me get up? About to die again. About to die again. Die, die, die. Fall! Yes! Jesus Christ. What a ass whooping, man. <laughs> Scott, what is dog man? What was wrong? It's funny, Scott. I'm going to do a podcast about that movie tonight. To stepped on. After the stream. What's happening? I don't know. The plane just changed direction on its own. What's it about? Is it a is it a thrilling uh, story, Scott? It's or flying in autopilot <laughs> mode. I can't switch over to manual control. My apologies, but I can. Oh yeah, let Scott. You I'm real, and I really enjoyed that that no. movie. Alfred, cross-dressing <laughs> freak. Oh, that line didn't carry over very well. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Sitley, he probably, Sitley, he, uh, his big thing is he took over the wheel of time, like, uh, LZT was talking about. And LZT was a big, he's like, I think the most prolific working, uh, fantasy, like, high fantasy author right now outside of, like, George R.R. R. Martin. And George R. R. Martin isn't really writing anymore, so. I really, really, really like the Stormlight Chronicles. I think LZT should try them. Those books are so good. They're, they're, Steve, you fucking pervert. Try to kiss sleeping women, you fucking asshole. I hate Batman versus Superman. I don't hate it, but like that that Martha scene is literally one of the worst scenes in the history of cinema. <laughs> hey. I Where actually like a lot of that movie, but uh -huh. that Martha Latitude, scene, holy shit. Degrees. That Martha scene is something special. That's the Antarctic. We're over the Antarctic. God, his what? voice acting is so bad. It is so bad. Hey, those are the seaplanes that left the island right before us. Then that must be this place belongs to Umbrella. This is where the thing is. I still have never watched Sucker Punch, Scott. I've had that on Blu-ray for years and never watched it. <laughs> So, Lee, when are the whole, like, yeah, I mean, visually, visually, Zack Snyder is, he, he's hard to compare with how pretty he makes movies. Unfortunately, like, often it feels like it's, oh. that's all that there is to the movie, but. Is this Sucker Punch, Scott? Wake up, Steve. Wake oh. up, Leo. Oh. We're still alive. We're still alive. <laughs> we 
watched a movie. Uh, I watched a movie for the podcast for this week, and it's called uh, "Come True," and it's about like night terrors and like, like, uh, not night terrors. What do you call them? Like, uh, like sleep, sleep. Uh, Thanks. Sleep, sleep. Fucking what the fuck is it called? Where you can't? Oh, sleep paralysis. And it was a oh, uh, horror <laughs> movie, and it's just fucking trashed. a cool movie though. Let's split up and find another way off this oversized freezer. Right. I thought we played as okay. Chris at some point. Let's in this do game. it. I don't remember when though. I have like no ammo. You have night terrors. The movie was does. A really interesting job of like framing what it does to people. The movie gets real weird at the end, but I liked it a lot. Yeah, Greg, never watch that movie come true then. Like <laughs> That sounds horrifying, Greg. Okay, what are we doing in here? Scott, like, I feel like you could make a, just put some boxing gloves on each one of you. And it would be like, it would be like Step Brothers. Man, that would be amazing movie. Wow, there's a lot of ammo in there. Jesus Christ. Holy fuck, man. There are a ton of zombies in there. You think Zeke will, did, uh... Is Zeke gonna play Resident Evil 8? I don't know if Zeke plays Resident Evil games. I know he plays horror games, but I know he doesn't play stuff when it right comes out, but. Scott, Greg, all we need to do is get someone from Step Brothers to like executive produce the movie after you guys write the script or after whatever we write the script. Um, and you just say from the producers of Step Brothers, and you your your slate fighting movie would be a hit, I think. And we don't have to pay a lawyer because like Greg's already a lawyer. <laughs> that looks like a thing on the like a map. I mean, everyone's all horny about the vampire, so. Everyone's all thirsty about that fucking vampire. Is there anything else in here I'm missing? I mean, he's a lawyer in, in Brazil, though. I don't know if that counts. Does that count? What am I doing in here? I felt like there was a fucking first aid spray in this locker. I heard horny what happened. I don't... Did I say horny? I mean, this is a pretty horny chat, Virebot. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what Greg's specialty is in court, uh, Scott. Have you, Scott, that just reminded me, have you ever seen, have you ever seen uh, uh, Leprechaun 3 where the, the chick's uh, f implants explode? <laughs> uh, it, Leprechaun 3 is a really bad movie, but 
that just oh my god it's entertaining so what the fuck is making that noise Okay, we got a nothing, n nothing terrible sounding here. Yeah, so number three, Scott is he? He's in Las Vegas, and uh, he uh, he uh, his gold. Like people get a hold of one of his pieces of gold, and the whole movie is them like getting his gold and then making wishes with it and one of them wishes she was beautiful again and so like the gold makes her like like j like you know big boobs and everything and then the the, the leprechaun gets a hold of her and makes her tits explode or something. <laughs> something insane like that it's it's a it's a real movie let me tell you what <laughs> tits explosion I haven't actually seen either one of the uh, uh, the leprechauns in the. Uh, maybe I saw Leprechaun in the Hood way back in the day. Uh, so Tilly, I made that emote. I'm very proud of it. Now that one needs to be cleaned up. My gizmo catch is a the the is an actual like you know, what do you call it? So that always makes me happy. It's like a gif. I want the fucking herb on the floor. Can you not see, see what I was going to say? Uh, I just want to know what's going on in Greg's head now because he's he's got that tits explosion thing going through him. <laughs> uh, he's actually gotten way better at catching over the last couple like years. He used to not be able to catch anything. Oh, Gizmo. I'm glad, I'm glad. I If I'm helping you out, Greg. Ah! Ah! Not, uh, what the fuck? It's like Mothra, but worse. <laughs> oh. Now I'm just gonna go to bed picturing Greg jerking off to exploding tits. <laughs> oh man. Where are you fuckers? I hate these fucking camera angles. Where are you at? Where are you at, fuckface? Man. Alchemy! Can I get a shout out for Miss Alchemy? Alchemy, what is up, friends? Alchemy, thank you for bringing your community here. Alchemy, welcome. Oh, I am Rod. I am a variety streamer of the horror uh, kind. I stream lots of horror. I stream other stuff too, but... So, welcome. And thank you so much, Alchemy, for bringing your... Uh, your uh, your community here how are you how was your stream friend how are you and how was the stream which comment was that i'm lurking but i'm present what's going on thank you so much for that shout out miss miss rachel did the shout out command not work or did you spell it wrong i'm trying to figure out what's going on <laughs> There is a thing that's held happening. I didn't see it pop up. That's what I was saying. Oh, Reese did it too. That's why. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay, cool. Alchemy, how was your stream, friend? Iron Randy, how are you? How is everybody? Thank you so much for the awesome raid there, Alchemy. It's going good. I'm making progress slowly through this game. Slow, slow, slow. I've been trying to play through the entire Resident Evil franchise. Oh, I shouldn't say the entire, but the 
Resident Evil franchise before Resident Evil 8 comes out. So it's been a good night, man. It's it's getting some... Um, I made it through like halfway through this game. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. No, no, let's run away. Okay, I just, I had to stop for a second because someone's here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Ah! Alchemy, someone is here to say hi. What's up, Gizmo? Oh, it's Timberwolf. I've been, um, I streamed two and three last year. Um, oh, crap. The remakes. And so I've been I've played a lot of Resident Evil games over the last, you know, 20 plus years. Resident Evil is why I got in, back into gaming again when I was in middle school, so Gizmo, what are you doing? This is Gizmo, everyone. He is my two and a half year old French bulldog. He's a little shithead, but he's adorable. Girthy. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, Gizmo? People came to see you, and you're like not going to say hi to him? <laughs> the girthier, the better. What do you think, Gizmo? Yeah, Timber, I am... Um, this is Code Veronica which came out originally on the Dreamcast in 2000. Um, so then this is like the Resident Evil uh, update, the HD update that came out on Resident Evil uh, 2, came, I mean, PlayStation 2, I should say. Yeah, 4 is a good game, and uh, I'm excited to play through it again here. That's the next game on the list. But four is the one a lot of people have played. Like four is probably of all the maybe up until the uh, the remakes came out. But I think for a while, as Resident Evil Four was like the highest selling uh, Resident Evil game for like a long time. Because it came out on what GameCube, and then got PlayStation remakes and all that. How do I get up there? What are you doing, guys? Now. Look at this little ham. Look at him. Look at this little goofball. I am running so low on ammo right now. That is not good. Yeah, Timber, I, like, that's been me playing this game and, like, not having played it in, like, 20 years, 21 years. It, uh... It's been a struggle at times because this game is not intuitive to play. It's very uh, archaic. It's and they didn't update the stuff when they did uh, the HD version, like they did for the Resident Evil One, Two, and Three remakes. So yeah, like it still has the tank controls from the original. Okay, guys, now you done hanging out? Say bye to chat. All hail Gizmo! Uh. So yeah, it's been a good day. It's uh, I work wasn't exactly fun today, but the stream has been awesome tonight. So okay, what is up here? Take the detonator? It looks like a gear shift. My wife's supposed to be home at some point, and I don't know when. A heat-sensitive detonator. Okay. Okay, well, do we... So how do I? Do 
Do I use the lighter? Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Oh, great. Where the fuck did you come from? You want to aim at the guy behind? What are you doing? What? You would like have to. Oh, crap. You have to auto aim in this game or you're really fucked. So when the. The game won't fucking aim at the zombie. It's a problem. Okay. I am running. They they had me fight a boss twice. Use all of my ammo and then they threw me on this island and I don't know what I'm like. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Thank you. Nah, 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 nah. So how is... Alchemy, if you're still here, how is Final Fantasy XIV now? I've seen so many of my friends playing it. You play it. Uh, uh, Hellbent and Helena plays it. Is it... How is that going? I know, man, I, I, that game, I remember back in the day when it came out, and I had friends play it, and then that game when it came out was not nearly as good as it is now, right? And so, yeah, yeah. I... I I, it always makes me so happy to see people because everyone I see playing it is just has a fucking blast with it, you know. I was laughing at Helena playing it because that her chat was giving her shit because she was playing with the uh, she was playing with the mouse and keyboard, like she wasn't playing with all her. Uh, she didn't have a bunch of her key bindings set. And so she was like manually clicking all her skills, and her her chat was giving her so much shit. About it. I'm like, Helena, 